So you guys have been asking for it and I've scoured the internet for videos of Deji sparring. I think I've got a couple. I don't know how new they are. I don't know if they're recent or not, but I'm doing my best here, you know? So hopefully, hopefully this is current and hopefully it's not old. I'm not positive. I think a, at least a couple of them are current. And regardless, we should be able to get a general idea of what he's looking like going into the fight. And there, there's one specific thing that he proves in this sparring footage. So let's dive right into it. So Deji befitting his nickname, he, he, he plods forward like a tank, right? He's, he's the definition of a pressure fighter. So Deji, if he's moving backwards, he's probably not going to perform well. Right, he's he's the type of guy that that fights well on the front foot. He fights well fighting forward, but would have trouble fighting backwards. So here in these shots, you can see that he just sort of is very stationary. He remains very still when he tries to remember. Hey, your footwork. He just sort of bounces around a little bit, but it's not natural for him to have good footwork to have good be light on his feet. He's very heavy on his feet, and then when he attacks, he just powers forward. See, look how he just powers forward. That being said, what I love is, look at him mix it up. So he throws a jab and his opponent covers up. Now, instead of just throwing more punches to his guard, he throws that body shot and that body shot brings his opponent's hands down and then he throws a right hand right after it to land clean. That's a great combination, man. And he's clearly throwing with power. Now, Deji's the type of guy that you know, he's not really generating the power in his hips, right? He is generating the power with his upper body. But, you know, there's plenty of guys that are able to generate a lot of power in non-traditional ways. And that's sort of what I get from this footage. Is he some world championship level power? Obviously not. But in the, in the comparison to other TikTokers or YouTubers, he's actually clearly generating quite hard power. And the best part is he's not headhunting. He's not headhunting. He throws that jab and then right to the body, right after it, and then comes right up top with the same hand. That's a pretty advanced combination to be able to throw body and then come right back up with the same hand. You know, that's Canelo is able to throw like three hooks at a time. Jarrett Hurd, he's a great, um, great practitioner of throwing like three, four, five shots with the same hand. It's a great sign of progress and improvement to be able to be utilizing your tools in different ways than the traditional one, two, one, two, three right? To be able to think more than that, to be able to throw, you know, same shots with the, the same hand or different shots with the same hand in the same combination, that's a, a sign of an advancement. Now, it's obvious his sparring partner here is a tomato can, right? Like the guy's just shelling up, not really able to throw punches back and probably has about 40 pounds less on him. But that being said, it shows us that if you give Deji the, the, ability to advance on you he's not only going to take advantage of that but he's going to mix it up and he's going to put body shots in and then he's going to come up at the top he's not going to waste his energy on your guard anymore so that's a great advancement man now a problem is because you know we got to be we got to be unbiased here a problem is when he comes in watch so when he does throw that body shot he keeps his head very stationary and very straight up so right here this is a great shot where he's throwing he's digging that body hook in but his head his his lead hand's totally down, and his 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 other hand's down, obviously throwing a body shot, and his head's right here. So imagine, you know, you can see Justin Gaethje in the UFC do this, where he'll he'll wait inside his guard, and once a guy throws like that, opens himself up, boom, he'll crack that right hand. So that's a gap, right? So that's a gap where once you're throwing those shots, you know, if you could counter and throw simultaneously, right? Not wait for his combination to be over. Because that's Deji's rhythm right now. He's throwing his shots, and then he gets back into his rhythm. He gets back into bouncing. But while he's throwing those shots, he's vulnerable because he gets ahead of himself. And because he's very aggressive, he's just being aggressive in that moment. So that's one thing to look out for. So here he is practicing what I was just talking about, right? So about mixing it up. So his opponent is giving him an opportunity to, you know, work angles, right? And this is a great thing that, you know, people that are more advanced will do to help people. They'll just sort of shell up in their guard and, and wait for them to figure out how to break it. Because, you know, people think a lot of the times that, oh, you're in your guard, that's like the simplest thing, right? But it's actually, for a lot of people, really complicated to actually even just break that. So that's a great drill, and he's working on that. Here we can see he, he's throwing that jab. And he, he does this funny thing where he just, like, slides in but he he's he's leaving himself open so if we watch that in slow motion you can see while he's coming in with his jab 
He's not really being defensively responsible. That's not like a jab in the traditional sense. It's it's very much so a lazy jab, and it's he's leaving himself completely open. Now, I would say that he doesn't look like he's intimidated by his opponent here at all, but it's still not a good sign to be, you know, being lazy with your attacks like that. So there it is again, right? That's three shots with the same hand. That's pretty advanced. That's a pretty advanced move. So that's actually like really good to see. So he throws a jab, hook to the body, hook upstairs with all the, the same hand. And then he's got decent head movement. He's not like conscious of his defense until he really needs to use it. And then he's kind of spazzy in the way he defends himself. But overall, and that's, you know, very short clips. You know, like I've said, I've been trying to find this stuff on the internet, but it's difficult. He's He's doing well at hiding his training footage. But with what we have, he looks good. You know, the big thing, like I said, he, he has trouble remaining defensively responsible while attacking. And that's a pretty common thing when you're when you're uh, at the lower levels of boxing. But that being said, he's attacking well. So I, I genuinely think if he's able to put Vinny Hacker on the back foot, if he's able to put him on the back foot early and keep him on the back foot, Deji will probably maul that kid. You know, that being said, if Vinny Hacker is able to put him on the back foot, then I think he would have a lot more trouble because I just don't think he's good fighting backwards. Hey guys, thanks for listening to another episode of Roundhouse Radio. Make sure to like and subscribe. Also, if you want to know what's in my gym bag, I have all the affiliate links of what's in my gym bag in the bio. If you disagreed with me, make sure to comment. Uh, If you agree with me, also make sure to comment, man. I love hearing what you guys' opinions are, and I love uh, hearing points that I missed and points that I'm wrong about because it helps me grow. It helps me get better. And uh, I hope you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the show, man. I hope you guys listen and hang out and, you know, grow with this community because we're going to have an awesome community here at Roundhouse Radio. Thanks, guys.